you want to start to find out what will be the value of k 6 6. Now, k 6 is rotational degree of freedom. So, into theta 6 will be equal to t 0 plus delta t 6 of 2 a square by L 6. There are 3 such legs equation number 14. K 7 6 will be actually 0 because no role in deck due to unit yaw in the leg similarly k 8 6 and k 9 6 will also be 0 due to no pitch and no yaw in the deck. due to unit yaw rotation of the leg. The answer is very simple. This is because of a simple reason that ball joints do not transfer rotations from the legs to the deck. Okay? So, that is deck is partially isolated. Now, let us try to go to the unit rotations in deck. Let us say we want to now give unit rotation in roll degree of freedom of the deck. That is theta 7. So, if I draw the figure, say this is my deck position supported by the ball joints, the buoyant legs, which are T third to the seabed. If I have the deck plan which is triangular, which has got two legs on one side and one on the other side. And if this is my C g, if this is my x axis, this is the role which I am looking at. To look at this, I must rotate it about x axis. So, let us view this from here, this is a view direction. Okay? If I call this as leg 1 and leg 3 and leg 2, obviously, this will be leg 1 and this will be leg 3 and I will have to. So, from this direction you see if this is my P L this will be P L by 2 ok, this will be P L by 2 correct so, center. So, let us mark the water line C G will be somewhere let us say here. So, at the point on the deck, we are giving unit rotation and I will be able to get k 7 7, right. So, we will be able to get 3 corresponding degrees, which we will mark as we derive them. Now, let us understand very clearly that k 1 7 will be 0 that is no surge in buoyant leg due to unit rotation in deck please understand this because rotation is not transferred. Okay? Let us try to find out k 2 7 will not be equal to 0. Okay. So, k 2 7 will be sway in the legs unit roll in 
deck which will be equal to T 0 plus delta T 7 that is a new tension okay, divided by P L by 2 tan theta 7 that is equation number 15 K 3 7 will be T 0 plus delta T 7 by P L by 2 tan theta 7. K 2 7 is T 0 plus delta T 7 by square root of S W B square plus L square where S W B is actually P L by 2 1 minus cos theta 7. So, E 7 eccentricity will be given by h bar sin theta 7 or let us call this as theta 4 7. Okay. So, theta 4 7 is actually tan inverse of P L by 2 tan theta 7 by S W B. It is very important to note that S W B given by the equation 17 depends on K 4 7. Okay. So, K 4 7 into theta 7 is actually K 2 7 into S W B into H bar equation number 19. K 5 7 will be 0 that is no pitch in leg due to unit roll in deck. K 6 7 will also be 0 because no yaw in legs due to unit roll in deck. K 7 7 can be computed by this equation which is equilibrium in the roll degree of freedom delta T 7 of P L by 2 minus T 0 plus delta T 7 of P L by 2 where we can say delta T 7 dash that is the tension in the farther leg P L by 2 plus buoyancy into eccentricity which should be equal to 0 that is the equilibrium equation. From this one can estimate K 7 7 as P L delta T 7 plus F B E 7 by theta 7. K 8 7 will be 0 that is no pitch in deck due to unit roll in deck K 9 7 will also be 0 that is no yaw in deck due to unit roll in deck. So, we have worked out the seventh column of the stiffness matrix. Let us give unit displacement or unit pitch rotation to the deck that is let us give theta 8 as unity. So, the figure is similar to what we have here. So, we want to give unit rotation now. Okay. So, let us do that. So, we will be getting portion of the deck which is connected by the legs. These are my buoyant legs which are connected to the seabed by tethers 
let us mark the water line. Okay, let us draw the plan on the top. So, this is my x axis. I am now giving unit pitch that is theta 8 is unity. So, I must look at the system from this view. So, if this is leg 1, this is leg 3 and this is leg 2, this will be leg 1 and 3, this will be leg 2 and the C g will be here, okay, somewhere here. So, this distance is P b by 3 because this is P b and this is 2 third P b. Okay. Let us now mark the degrees of freedom corresponding to the deck and to this. Okay. These are the points where I am going to mark the degrees of freedom. So, this will be k 1 8 and of course, this is k 8 8 sorry this is k 5 8 and this is k 3 8 and we are giving unit rotation theta 8 therefore, this will be k 8 8 on the deck. So, k 1 8 will be 3 t 0 plus 2 delta t 8 minus delta t 8. Well, let us keep this as 1 and this as 2 that is the delta t is in different legs are going to be different because these legs are closer, okay? these legs are farther. So, I have taken two different notations here, okay? two different notations here to arrive at them divided by s u b square plus l square the root. So, let this equation be equation number 21 where S u b is given by 2 p b by 3 1 minus cos theta 8. Now, k 2 8 will be 0 that is no sway in the leg due to unit pitch in the deck rotation is not transferred. Okay. K 3 8 will not be equal to 0. So, K 3 8 is given by 3 T 0 plus 2 delta T 8 1 minus delta T 8 2 because 1 will be slacking and 1 will be on increase in tension divided by Z 1 equation 23, where z 1 is p b by 3 tan theta 8 and z 2 is 2 third p b f tan theta 8 delta t 8 1 the nearer leg will have a e by l of z 1 and delta T A 2 the farther leg will have A e by L of Z 2. So, now eccentricity will be E 8 h bar sin theta 5 8 and theta 5 8 is given by tan inverse of S u b by Z 2. So, let us say equation number 24. Now, k 4 8 will be 0 that is no roll in the leg due to unit pitch in the deck. k 5 8 will not be equal to 0 because there is a differential heave k 5 8 will be equal to k 3 8 s u b h bar by theta 5 8 equation number 
25, where theta 8 8 is given by z 1 by s u b equation 26. Now, k 6 8 and k 7 8 will be 0, because no transfer of rotation from deck to the leg. k 8 8 into theta 8 will be given by t 0 plus delta t 8 1 of 2 p b by 3 the closer legs minus t 0 plus delta t 8 2 of 2 p b by 3 plus f p into E 8, where E 8 is given by this equation. So, 27 k 9 8 will be 0, no yaw in the deck due to unit pitch of the deck. Lastly, let us give unit rotation in your degree of freedom to the deck. Let us say this is my original position. leg 1, leg 3 and leg 2, we get a new position because let us mark the C G and give unit rotation about this point. Let us say unit rotation about this point, okay. let us say let us rotate it like this or let us slightly increase this line and let us mark it like this. Okay. So, I get at the C g we have given rotation theta 9 as unity I get k 9 9 and I will also get k phi 9. The change in tension delta T 9 is given by G j of the deck by T of the deck into L 9 minus L equation number 28, where K 1 9 will be 0, K 2 9 is also 0, because no surge and sway in the legs due to unit yaw rotation of the deck, because ball joints do not transfer the rotation k 3 9 will be t 0 change in length minus original length of 3 legs minus plus 3 delta t 9 L by L 9 of delta T 9 L 9 minus L okay. equation number 29 K 4 9 K 5 9 K 6 9 all will be 0 because no transfer of rotation from deck legs, because you know 9 is rotational degree of the deck and 4, 5 and 6 are rotational degrees of the legs. K 7 9 and K 8 9 will also be 0, because no influence of yaw on pitch and roll of the deck, they are independent. Okay. and k 9 9 theta 9 will be g j of the deck 
by T of the time. So, by this logic we have derived the entire stiffness matrix 9 by 9 of the triceratop. Let us look at the summary friends. In the two lectures this lecture and the previous lecture we understood the structural action of triceratop under unit displacements and rotations. We derive the stiffness matrix of the triceratop. We have the stiffness matrix now which is 9 by 9 which we expected to derive from the beginning from first principles. So, the computer method of deriving stiffness matrix by knowing the coefficients k i j will be helpful to actually write a program to derive this matrix. from first principles. Thank you very much.